Porco Brazza. Porco cane, porco cane. Comunque, vediamo questo. So, let's talk about your face. Specifically, we'll be looking at machine learning algorithms that try to judge your face. By giving access to your camera, you'll be able to experience these algorithms yourself. But don't worry, everything will run locally in your own browser. No data is sent to the cloud in any way. At the end of the experience, you will be able to share some anonymous data with us if you want, but it's totally up to you. Yes. The first algorithm we'll look at is designed to judge the beauty or attractiveness of your face. It will give you a score between 0 and 10. Having some idea of how attractive you are can be very valuable. For example, dating services like Tinder use it to match people who are about equally attractive. Some social media companies, such as TikTok, are known to promote content from attractive people more. To make an algorithm like this, you need to train it using tens of thousands of example photos that each already have a beauty score. Rating all these photos is often done by students at universities. If you ask Chinese students to give their opinions, their cultural perceptions of beauty will transfer okay. over into the algorithm, which might lead to unpredictable effects cosa. when it's used to judge people from other cultures. So no, I wanted to show you an example of this, there, but huh? I couldn't even get the algorithm to detect black people's faces properly. If you have a low score, it might just be because the judgment of these algorithms is so dependent on how they were right. trained. Of course, right. if you got a really high score, that's just because you are incredibly beautiful. <laughs> Next, let's look at an algorithm that's designed to judge your age. And what you'll see here, as well as with many others, is that if you move your head around, you'll be able to influence the outcome quite a bit. Some stores use these algorithms to learn more about their visitors. They can also be used to guess who might be lying about their age on dating websites. If you happen to share your age bracket earlier, we can now figure out whether or not you are a liar. The following algorithm oh. we'll take a look at tries to determine your gender. Yes! Oh. Oh. Here you can once again see that the country oh. or culture in which an algorithm was constructed can have a big influence on how it will categorize and judge people. Non è this algorithm eh. would probably flip no, out no, at the no, no. Our next no, no. algorithm on the menu Try to determine your body mass index, or BMI, from just looking at your face. Bello. To make an algorithm like this, you'll once again need thousands of photos of people that are tagged with their body mass index. In practice, I found that the required data is often simply scraped from the internet. For example, some researchers who work at Google took these pictures from BMI online communities il, where people share their weight loss progress. Oh, a lot of these algorithms work by first measuring seven proportions in your face. One of these is calculated by measuring the area above your eyes, which is why you can get a lower score by raising your eyebrows. By connecting to this website, you also shared your IP address, and that was used to guess where you are. Now that we have your gender, your age, your country of origin, and the BMI prediction, we can combine these and try to create a life expectancy prediction. These types of predictions are essentially created by stacking educated guesses on top of each other, which makes the result even more imprecise. However, that doesn't stop insurance agencies from purchasing these types of predictions, because to them it's better than nothing. Won't you come a little closer? Don't take this the wrong way, but you have a very unique face. That's why, just like you have a fingerprint, you also have a face print. This is usually expressed in 128 numbers. This face print makes it possible to digital print you la mia you face. Oh. Ma io For example, io mi censuro. Russian company Find Face offers a service where you can take a picture of a stranger and then it will try to find the social media profiles that belong to that person. Similarly, io an American censuro. company called Clearview AI allows police officers to upload a photo and then it will show a list of all the web pages where it found the mi same censuro, person. You can now buy security cameras that have this capability built in. No, no, mi censuro, For example, non voglio... in the United States, the pharmaceutical chain Rite Aid used these cameras to recognize non people who have previously shoplifted them. Annullare... By the way, annullare... you didn't actually need to get closer no, to the ormai. camera for this to work. A small thumbnail annullare... is enough. I just want to see if you do it. I also have to admit something. While this website was loading, I secretly recorded your emotional reaction when the little puppy was shown. This was done using an algorithm that tries to determine your emotional state based on your facial expressions. Classic. Said doggy reaction. A company called HireView offers online video interviewing tools. 
They claim to be able to find the best job applicants by analyzing their facial expressions, voice and vocabulary. This practice has been criticized for giving a lot of credence to algorithms, while at the same time making it very hard to know what people are actually being judged on. As a bonus, for the last few minutes your surfing behavior has also been recorded. You may not realize it, but a lot of websites have little bits of code from companies such as Visual Website Optimizer and Hotjar embedded into them. This makes it possible to record your mouse movements, as well as any text you may have entered into forms. These services can help improve how a website functions, but it also means a large amount of behavioral data is being collected by these third parties. As you probably realize, your data is increasingly collected and combined to create all kinds of predictions about you. By comparing your data to that of others, you can be placed in all kinds of categories. These profiles are not just used to show you better advertisements, but they are starting to impact all kinds of aspects of your life, ranging from getting cheap car loans or insurance to finding a job or even a date. While you can try to protect yourself from this tracking online, where, for example, you can delete your cookies, this is much harder when it comes to your face, which you can't really delete. That's why this type of biometric tracking is much more inescapable and can feel much more constricting. As face recognition technology moves into our daily lives, it can create this subtle but pervasive feeling of being watched and judged all the time. We might feel more pressure to behave normally, which for an algorithm means being more average. That's why we have to protect our human rights to so privacy, which is uomo. essentially our rights to be different. <laughs> you could say that privacy <clears throat> is our right to be imperfect. Ha una... So we have to be very careful when implementing this technology. Che sei uomo As with all new innovations, it comes with great stories of how we can improve our lives in short term. In but with biometric systems, we have to be very careful and really think through what it could do to people and society in the long term if, bit by bit, we allow this Comunque, surveillance to be done. Beauty say, oh, oh dio, beauty say, eh? Da 5.9 a... Dipende su cosa è trainato, se fai il training soltanto su, ad esempio, persone di una certa etnia, tu non rispetti quei canoni, quindi non sei bello. Ma non è bello ciò che è bello, è bello ciò che piace agli sviluppatori. Eh sì, è, è bello ciò che gli sviluppatori dicono alla rete che è bello. Esatto. Non so se rifarlo senza cuffie oppure no, ma non credo, credo che tanti lo fanno con le cuffie. Vabbè, è stato... è stata una strana esperienza, è andata così. Comunque carino, grazie Salti, molto carino. Non, non so se vi consiglierei di farlo. Uh, se lo volete fare ricordate di non dargli i dati se volete, così nessuno può... Uh... Perché non staccherete più gli occhi da Google.